with students today i'll start the second unit conveyance of water conveyance of water from the source the drinking water supply treatment the second unit the water supply intake structure functions of intake pipes and conduits for water pipe materials hydraulics of flow in pipes transmission main main okay. main jointing and testing of pipes appurtenances pipes and capacity of pumps collection of pumps and pipe materials so these are the syllabus we will see one by one so what is meant by intake first is intake what is meant by intake so here you can see intake is device placed in a surface of a source to draw the water from the source then discharged into the conduit through which it will be flow into the water work system of it it consists of conduit with respective work creek at both ends gates and walls to regulate the uh, this one figure can see the intake so the conduit here is the closed conduit nothing but pipe so how the water is carried from the river to the pipeline and the intake is structure it is constructed near to the source of subsurface source of surface source then uh, take collect the water and take the water to the treatment plant to the pipe support pipe and pump support so here you can see the general intake structure and the pumps and here is the great valve the foot valve please types of intake here you can see river intake reservoir intake canal intake so intakes are used to collect the water for water works from various sources the sources may be river reservoir canals Uh, this common type. So, where we collect the water based on the collection of water, it is named as that uh, type of reservoir. So, river intake it is circular masonry work. It is circular masonry work. Constructed along the bank of the river, such a place from where the water is collected. So the water entered into the lower part of the place. This one has sump. Here you can see the river intake. The the sump well from the penstock. The penstocks are fitted with trees to check the entry of solids. Entry of solids and are placed on the downstream side. There is a river bed and the trainer is at the center. It starts. It is fitted at the lower level. It is the low water level and it is the high water level. So it indicates it is not a bridge level. And this is the treatment plant from the pump house. The water is treated to the treatment plant. So the opening and closing of the start wall is done with a net pump. Beads provided at the pump house door. Yes, so the opening is this is open. Then this is the reservoir intake. Along the dam side, so this consists of intake towers. No water inside other than the intake pipes. 
So only in the pipes the water is available. So the interior of the tower is thus made available for inspection and operation. Reservoir intake, which is usually located either along the upstream of the tender or within the body of masonry tank. There are a number of inlets protected by screens at different levels to draw in clear water from the near sources. So here you can see there are a number of inlets where water level, even the water is at the minimum level, it is to collect the water. So there are a number of inlet voids protected by screens. Other thing are normal. When the discharge of some river in summer remains sufficient to be the river, but some rivers dry up partly and fully cannot meet the hard weather river. In such case, reservoirs are constructed for subsequent years of canal intake. So the canal intake is very simple structure constructed on the bank of the canal and consists of RCC. Masonry chamber built partially. So, here you can see the difference between each intake. And then, seeing the structure itself, you can identify. So, it has a side opening, it has a four screen which excludes radial matter from entering the structure. The end of the pipe inside the chamber is provided with the L mount structure with the hemisphere. The outlet pipe carries the water to the other side. So this is the pipe. That's the pipe. So for the pipe, we are using for supply the water to the tube. So this pipe is based on the materials which is classified into five types, cast iron pipe. Steel pipe, wrought iron pipe, RCC, asphalt star, cement pipe, polyvinyl fluid pipe. So commonly we are using the PVC pipe, and if you want to supply the water to the entire community below the road, we require the RCC pipelines. So here each pipeline, how it is made up of. Then what is advantage and disadvantage is given. So you can see, these are the most commonly used in water supply scheme due to their durability, strength, resistance to corrosion. But what are the five cast iron pipe? So it is durable, it has high strength and resistant to corrosion, so easy of laying, etc. But the disadvantage of this type of pipe is heavy weight, dark diameter, so difficult to transport in hilly and difficult terrain. Coating inside and outside of the pipe is required for carrying corrosive water. So the next pipe is steel and wrought iron pipe. So these pipes are stronger than cast iron pipes. They are, however, less durable, having a life up to 50 years. It is more liable to corrosion. To increase this life, the wrought iron pipes sometimes is organized with the zinc. These pipes can withstand much lighter much lighter section, hence easy to transport the site. So what is the advantage of steel pipe is it is cheap, low durable, lighting weight, hence easy to transport. So these pipes are available in large length, which decreases the number of steps. Steel pipes can resist high internal pressure. The disadvantage is steel pipes are likely to be rusted, which reduces their life. These pipes require more time for repair. So here the maintenance cost is when coming to RCC pipe, it is very durable, heavier, can be used up to 1.8 meter diameter. So think of 1 meter is the 
1.8 meter diameter size we can use this pipe so the transportation costs are much reduced the pipes are cast in situ at the site if you cast this pipe means so the transporter cost is minimum these pipes are resistant to corrosion specially suitable for soft and acidic water so the concrete mix normally used is 1 is to 2 is to what is the advantage here you can see these pipes have low maintenance cost and the pipes are not corroded from inside by normal drinking water these are very durable pipes to take disadvantage these pipes are difficult to repair and join the pipes have tendency to leak due to shrinkage cracks and porosity the pipes are difficult to transport okay coming to asbestos cement pipe So it is made up of asbestos fiber under pressure into dense homogeneous structure. It is very light in weight, easy to cut, join and handle. So they resist corrosion and are very smooth. Use of these pipes are restricted due to minor works of distribution system. Because of poor structural resistance and reduced stress, it is caused during transportation. The advantage is light in weight, smooth pipes, suitable to carry, flexible uh, while jointing. But compare uh, this disadvantage, the pipes are costly, less durable, easily brittle, so not have much strength, then damage during transportation. Last pipe is CVC pipe. This is a common pipe. Day to day life, so we are seeing this all our buildings, uh, all our houses, we are using PVC pipe only. So, I am going to explain this much more. We all know this pipe advantage and disadvantage. What are the factors to be considered? Selection of pipe. First one is internal pressure and external loads. Which the pipe is subjected and type of water to be conveyed is resistant to corrosion. The maintenance cost, availability of fund, expected life, repair and use. With this I start. So today what we have seen, what are the intake, what are the types of intake, what is in the intake, then pipes are used for water. Pipe materials. Then how will you select the pipe? Next class.